Everyone, I'm about to introduce someone very, very special to you to start off our summer program of one service. She has been my assistant minister for many, many wonderful years, and she is part of an experience that we celebrate here in Fremont, and I feel, since I've been in this 48 years, that this is the greatest accumulation of metaphysical teachers since the 60s Institute of Religious Science. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to put your hands and heart together and welcome Reverend Darlene Sykes. And I want her to welcome who's sitting on the second row. Amazing. <laughs> My daughter is sitting on the second row here from Chicago this morning. <laughs> A notch this morning I think that has happened I think it's already happened so this morning my topic is say hello to amazing hello, hello amazing hello amazing <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay so you know about 15 years ago I visited the Grand Canyon and I, that was my first time being there. And I didn't really know what to expect. And what I experienced was unimaginable. It was just unimaginable. This, this, when, I, when, I, when this bus took us to the top and I just looked out, I was speechless. And the only words that came to me in that moment was, so this is what grand means. This is the meaning of grand, okay? And you know what? After that, I decided that I would no longer use the word unless I was in the presence of it. And unfortunately, I haven't used it that often. And so that's what really made me start thinking about this. That's what really made me, why is it that I'm not experiencing grand in my life? Okay. Now, another experience I had years ago, I visited the Great Wall in China. And when I stepped off that bus, my back was to the wall. And as I stepped down, I just sort of turned. And as I turned, I caught sight of, of this, of this great wall. And for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles, all you saw was this wall. And I was completely unprepared for what I saw. I, 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 I was like, what? I mean, in, in fact, when I stepped down, I just stopped. I was almost paralyzed by it. In fact, the person behind me almost fell on me because I had just, I was, I was just standing there Stunned by what I saw. I was looking at something that is considered the, the longest structure ever built, at least 4,000 miles long. Of course, I couldn't see all 4,000, but if it felt like it in what I was looking at. And it was built entirely by hand. Okay? And from where I was standing, as I said before, it just went on and on and on and on. And I made a mental note in that moment. So this is what great really means. Hmm. This is what great really means. So, so, so what I began to think about is that there are a lot of words that we have that we, that we, um, that, 
that we kind of generalize and, and make almost kind of trite. I mean, when you think about the word great, what does that mean? To, to be great means to very be large in size, very large, remarkable, outstanding, superior, powerful, eminent, distinguished. Hmm. Someone asked me how I feel, most of the time I'll say, great. But then I have to ask myself, am I feeling remarkable, outstanding, superior, powerful, eminent? Hmm, okay. So you, you kind of have to look at that and you realize that the meaning of the word and what I'm saying don't really balance each other, do they? Okay. And, and the interesting thing is, is, the, is, is, is uh, when, you, when, you're, when you're putting together a talk, you're really tuned in to to certain things that are going on around you. And since I was going to be talking about amazing this morning, I was really tuned into amazing. Hmm, I guess I was, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the interesting thing about it is that when you're tuned in, you begin to see it everywhere. I can't tell you how many times last week I heard the word amazing. It was amazing how many times I heard the word amazing last week. But if you hear the meaning of it, you might begin to restrict your use of even this word. You know what amazing means? It means to overwhelm with great wonder. Hmm. So the next time you hear yourself using the word amazing associated with you or any other experience, ask yourself, am I really overwhelmed with great wonder in this moment? Is that really what's going on? Okay? And, 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 and now I, I don't want to suggest that we're not using the word correctly, uh, but, but what I do want to suggest is just maybe. Maybe we're limiting our experience of what the word actually means. Now, why is this important? Because from this, from where it is that we're defining amazing, whatever it is that we're calling for, the universe is responding in kind. So it's handing us our own definition back. And we're sitting back saying, well, this doesn't look amazing. This looks rather mediocre. <laughs> this doesn't really look like much. But the universe is saying, but this is what you've been calling amazing. So we really have to pay attention to the way that we're using these words. See, the only thing the law can do is hand it back. It, all it can do is correspond. So how are you defining it? See, whatever it is, that I'm, the, oh, the way that I'm defining it is the way it has to give it to me. Genesis 1, we get to name it all. We get to give all of it its nature. So when you hear yourself using that word, ask yourself if you really feel overwhelmed with great wonder. And if your answer is no, which I believe most of our answers will be, then ask yourself another question. What would it feel like to be overwhelmed with great wonder? What would that feel like? And you know what? In just asking the question, you begin to open the door. That's the way it works. You begin to open the door to amazing because now you're giving the universe permission to, to show you a new concept of it, to show you an expanded awareness of it. What would it feel like to feel amazing? Are you asking yourself right now, what does that feel like? So my title this morning, Say Hello to Amazing, means say hello to a whole new idea of what amazing means to you. Now the interesting thing, though, about saying hello to something new is that we usually have to say goodbye to something old. Okay? 
In order to, to say hello to amazing, we have to begin to say goodbye to the world that we thought we lived in. Patty Lopez sent me a, a wonderful <laughs> email several weeks ago, and it, 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 it haunted me. And the, and the email was entitled, I'm perfectly comfortable, thank you. <laughs> 